everyone. This is Micah with Lifeproof Boats. We're on our 31 foot GT Coupe right now. We're gonna walk through this new Garmin display. This is the 8612 SXV. They just came out this quarter. They're a fantastic unit. We've got quite a few of them installed on boats already, but I thought we'd walk through this right now and take a quick look on how to change sources for the GPS antenna, just to give you a little bit of insight on how to do that and uh, go from there. So come on in, we'll take a quick look. So right now we're just at a normal navigation display. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come into home and we're gonna go to settings, we're gonna go to system, and then we've got GPS. And what we've got right now is it's telling us we're connected to all these different satellites. In the green is good, and that means that we're getting good connection to those satellites. This is exactly what you'd hope to see uh, when you're out on your own boat. Right now, we're telling us that the GPS source we've chosen is the GPS 19X NEMA 2000. On this boat, we've installed an external GPS antenna and it's mounted on the roof. It's the way to do it. These units have an antenna built in, but in a cabin boat like this, you really want an external GPS source to give you the best readings and to connect to the most satellites, especially if you're gonna go north up into the Gulf Islands or up into Canada. So if you wanna change your source, you'll just come in and hit the button source and you've got the different options of what's available on the network that you can choose. Currently, we've got a built-in antenna into this unit itself. We have a built-in antenna into the unit right next to it. Even though this is a Yamaha display, it's a, really a Garmin display on the inside if you were to actually dig into it. So it too has a built-in GPS antenna. We have the NEMA 2000 GPS antenna that's on the roof of the boat, and then you have the option to go auto. I'm gonna click the Yamaha, for example. You can see our source now says Yamaha, and you can see it's changed in the amount of bars we have and the connection quality. Because this is inside the dash, the connection quality is not as good. So we're gonna go back to source and back to NEMA on the roof and look how much it's changed. That's what you're gonna to wanna to see. If you don't have that, it may be something you, where you need to add an external GPS antenna. Thanks for watching everybody, and let me know Send me an email, ask me questions. We'll walk through more of this uh, equipment as we, as we find them. Thank you so much. Take care.